The Lighthouse Active Count is a portable active air sampling device with a HEPA filtered exhaust and allows you to sample living microorganisms. Thanks to the internal vacuum motor, 25 liters and 100 liters per minute flow rate options are available. The body of the device is stainless steel and has a large touchscreen. All its removable parts can be autoclaved. There is a movable carrying handle to provide ease of transport to the operator. On the front of the device, there are the main screen with the power key and two ports on the back, one being USB and the other being a power input. If the protective covers of the inlets at the back are attached, you can clean the device with a cloth suitable for clean room conditions and a cleaning chemical. The device has a built-in battery and it is sufficient to connect it to electricity with the power adapter to charge it. Air exhaust ports are just below the sampling head and discharge the air horizontally from six different points in total. In this way, the risk of turbulence is minimized. In addition, the horizontal discharge of air prevents the contamination on the surface from mixing up with air. As for the parts of the device, dust cover is referred to as a dust protection cover. Impactor is the sampling head. By help of the holes on it, sampled air settles evenly on Petri dish. The magnetic base plate is the part where Petri is placed. It can be easily mounted with its magnetic structure and can be removed for autoclave. This small part, known as blower inlet seal, is attached to the device to protect the internal vacuum motor when we remove the other parts for autoclave. When power button is pressed once, the device turns on. The first screen we come across is the main screen of the device. There are six buttons in total, three at the top of the screen and three at the bottom. In the middle of the screen, information about the measurement and status indicators is available. The device can take samples in three different modes. You can access these modes from the configuration button in the top right of the screen. It is possible to switch between modes by pressing mode in the first line. Constant mode is the mode where you can take constant samples at once, according to a specific volume. If you want to set a waiting time for the device before starting the sampling process, you can set this time in the section under Delay. It is possible to select the desired sample volume by pressing the volume text. You can also arrange the desired volume up to 6,000 liters by holding down any value for a few seconds to choose a different volume from the eight volume options that appear on the screen. Periodic mode is the mode you can choose when you want to monitor a long process. Sampling is performed by taking periodic measurements at equal intervals according to the set sampling time, total number of cycles, and volume. You can also set a delay time for this mode if you wish. You can return to the home screen by pressing the home button at the bottom left. Gas sample mode is used when you want to measure on pressure lines. First, you should connect the device to the pressurized line with the optional apparatus. Afterwards, you need to adjust the pressure in the line according to the pressure of the device by pressing the gas sample button from the settings menu in the upper middle part of the screen. After pressing start, a countdown will appear on the screen. You wait until the countdown is over and then equalize the incoming air to the flow rate of the device with the help of the small valve on the pressure line apparatus. When the air on the display reaches zero, and the check mark appears on the screen, you can end the setting by pressing the stop button at the bottom left. Then all you must do is to come to the main screen and start the measurement. Password for sampling modes on the device can be set from the configuration screen. The device will only be able to take samples over which mode was selected before the password was enabled. You need to activate the lock option by pressing the lock button at the bottom right on the configuration screen. After pressing the pencil icon and entering your password, you will have activated the security lock for this menu. You can use the two buttons next to the start stop button to assign location and user to the measurements taken. 50 different users and 400 different locations can be assigned to the device. You can click the edit button at the bottom right to customize any option selected. To view or edit the device settings, you must enter the settings menu. You can change the date, time, screen brightness, button sound, or date and time format through this menu. If you see a flag icon on the device status indicator, you can view potential problems by clicking the status item. You can also click the About button at the bottom right of the settings menu to access detailed information about the device. Each measurement result is recorded on the device. 
unlimited measurement results can be recorded while the USB supplied with the device is inserted in. To transfer the data related to the measurements to the USB, it will be sufficient to press the Transfer button from the Sample Log menu at the top left of the main screen. After sampling, only the results of that transaction are displayed. Therefore, the data transfer process must be repeated after each sampling. If the screen needs to be calibrated for any reason, touch the screen with your finger while the device is turned off and wait. If you press the power button while your finger is on the screen, you will be directed to the screen calibration menu. After following the steps on the screen, you must restart the device. In this way, the touchscreen will be calibrated. You can contact us for any questions about the device.